All right, and we're back. Uh, we're doing stuff, you know. We're doing something. So yeah. Hold up. I think we're going to the academy. Here's a vending machine. Get a little fresh water. Get some cash. I mean, we both like the view. If you come across a beautiful view, don't forget to snap a picture of it with the camera. Eh, yeah, graphics ain't too good, fam. Um, got a polka doll. Ah, so satisfying. Oh, my title stopped. What was the new director's name? Mr. Clavel. He became director about a year and a half ago. Notice the minimap has an exclamation point. That must mean I'm supposed to go there. <laughs> um, yeah, so. There also seems to be a little bit of banging around. Yeah, people are doing a little construction, of course. But, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna keep this one a little short, I guess. Maybe a little shorter than you. But. Operation is a success. So it's tough. This is famous torture suit. So long, long in the staircase of the academy. Not an easy climb, is it? There are all sorts. There are lots of different Pokemon. People on Pokemon that score on your part of the variety. I need my Pokemon, really. I wanna go home. So many stairs. Now this is a city. Uh, a little frame rate drop, I'm afraid. Not cool. Unborn NPC. Well, I like how I slide sometimes. Looks like a heel ball. An interesting type of ball. So. Do that homework, we can do it finally out of class. Uh, I could explore a little more to be honest, maybe. Hmm, not to know those, but there's no lie that. Those team star kids are a little scary, don't you think? Yeah, the team star is around every night, riding a weird car every night. It was a little clunky. Sometimes I accidentally press the B button. And the frame rates. Look at those frame drops on the NPC. I don't want to go home. Wait, you're just walking over there? Oh. oh. I guess, uh, yeah, they're just walking in a loop or something. Hmm. 
Alright, let's go with it. Here we have all. Welcome to Yuba Academy. This here is the entrance hall. You sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind. And the hall, this hall is off to the side, due to all different parts of the school. It's only big enough to let loose and battle me. But for some reason, they banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance. The master of all, Miss Mamona. How did you find your lot first school to meet? You had a blast. I imagine Miss Nemona's high spirits help with us. She's a true asset to this fine academy. Not that I was expecting any less from my champion ranked student council president. Reliable as always, Miss Nemona. Well, I knew how to look after my friend, Paul. Oh, but wishing, speaking of which, we saw some of those Team Star kids in town directly. Right? Dude, where? I was downstairs from the front gates. They were hassling this kid with an EV backpack. That's quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Actually, ball placed on them and ran them off. Go outside. Plus, it was a fine thing to help, try to help a fellow students, best of all. But you might wish to throw, show a little bit of restraint as you find your feet here. I'm Miss Nomona. Do you remember that the school staff is here to resolve such any such troubles? All uh, right, yes, Director. A child with a EV backpack, you said. I suppose that might have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's coming to class at least. And Miss Nomona, if you'd be so good, do you report to Jack about this team star business? As your homegrown teacher, you should be kept apprised of all such going on. Got it, sir. Uh, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. We're in class 1A ball. Come on, I'll show you the way. Good morning, Mr. Jack. Hello, hello, everyone. That's some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Oh, me. I want to hear the news. I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a new little friend joining our happy home room as of today. Whisper, whisper, whisper. I wonder what they'll be like. Alright, you can come on in. Can I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? Oh, look at these glitchy feet waving, whatever. Sure, I'm ball. Yeah, that he seems super friendly. Hey, Fur, how's it going? He seems super friendly and fun. <laughs> Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you, ball. Oh, don't mind my uh, ball cam today. It's just you know, uh, keeping with the theme of um, Violet being. Uh, graphically glitchy. Yeah. So, so that's why it looks like I'm super still. <laughs> okay. Not, not because uh, I have like a picture of me in place of the ball camera or anything. Alright then. Who wants to be the first to ask our new friend a question? Me, me, can I ask a question? Mike needs to be put up a bit? Okay. Alright, here. How's this sound check? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? I love battling Pokemon. I like everything about Pokemon. Really awesome, it's always the same. That's good, Bert. Uh, does anyone else have a question for the new classmates? Yeah, I have a question. Oh yeah, how, um, how long does it take to get us to this Union Square thing? It's just a circle or something. We went to all the trouble and we're rolling here, so it's Billball. What do you hope to get at? You must have some kind of dream, right? I want to complete the Pokedex in here. I already done it. I'm glad I got you set up with the Pokedex app if you like collecting them that much. Well, thank you for telling a bit about yourself, 
Oh, I'm uh, Mr. Jack. I teach biology here at the academy, and I'm also your homeroom teacher. Now let's just see, the second row from the front. Alright, you ragamuffins, be nice and friendly to our new classmate. Shinies don't make noises in the overworld? No, that sucks. Aw, oh, I gotta be extra careful. Cause like, some of those forms, you can't tell that they're shiny very easily. So I gotta battle everyone, huh? I wish they had kept that in Legend Arceus. We will, Mr. Jeff. Get to know the Academy campus by exploring a bit on your own. Here for Nomona. She got called to the staff room just now. Welcome. Welcome to the Academy. You're a new kid. But what? You want to talk to me? A new kid, girl. Glad to have you. And his weird cousin. Oh, my best friend Diglett is in this game, and this weird cousin Wiggly. Oh, yo, 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 Perry. Check this out. I have a funny, um. I have a funny, uh. video of a Wiglet. I don't know if you've seen it, you might have, if you've been following a little Pokemon. But then again, we're trying to avoid spoilers, so who knows. But, uh. It's about Wiglet. And uh, because of the graphical glitches, you know, yeah, I'll post it in the uh, chat. And there you go. It's on Twitter. Twitter is um, a little dumps of fire, but I think you might be able to watch it. It's hilarious. Yeah. Thanks for answering my question earlier. The class is in session. We tend to be on our best behavior, but our best still isn't that good. <laughs> At least they're honest. Um. You can now move around in the school. Yeah, check out places where someone might be hanging around. Perhaps you'll discover something. Now choose a place to explore. The cafeteria is pretty good. Munch, 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 gotta chew first, it's full of nutrients, everything seconds, everything is better together, do you think that would be great in sandwiches too? Okay. Fruit makes a delicious addition to sandwiches. Hmm, okay. Looks like it's some pots. Oh, it's that guy. Arvin, hey, hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? Oh, from the White House. Yo, oi games, how's it going? Oh, for, did you just watch that clip? It's pretty funny. Yeah, exactly. That's my little know-it-all buddy. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? What? Don't need to tell you me your name, alright? Whole school seems to be talking about you. The new kid has showed up with the president of the student, pre student council. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up to class, but I came all this way to school today just to talk to you. Our new celebrity. What starter did I pick? I picked Quaxley. You know, I got a, I chose the duck for the cool hairdo. Gotta help me out so I can finally make it my dream a reality. Have a hill. What kind of little maniac says yes to something without even knowing what they're agreeing to? Well, this might come as a surprise, but the fact is, I'm all about that picnic life, the great outdoors. He looks like the type. The perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it, not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now I'm researching new recipes that'll help people, Pokemon, feel better. Real health food scene. I found this book the other day and it had a section about these herb mist mystica things. Basically there's some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now there's a total of five different type of herb uh, mysticas, based on what it is. Just taking a little lick of them once saved and powder will get your blood flowing. Provide nutrients, prevent aging, it'll even boost the immune system. These herbs seem like they're the real deal. Only found here in Kabiya, in Rare Boot. And this book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon. I mean, they're, it's gonna be pretty tough to gra try to grab even a few sprigs. Whoa, shoot! Thanks for following, Omni. Yes. 
because uh, see, Titans are, well, I think they uh, I mean, hey, there's a kid just enjoying himself over there behind that pot there. It's hilarious. Uh, I think they gotta be things like this. Yeah. Okay. That looks like the uh, ancient Dawn fan. Monsters of Area Zero, mysterious Pokemon, though we wondered if these compactual beasts were one to be Pokemon at all. Okay. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. And is passing the resemblance to the Pokemon known as Dawn Pack. Differences such as the texture and the way it moves suggest it is biologically separate. To say nothing of its treads of iron. Huh. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. I don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to hand lend me a hand either. Um, I never hear the end of it if I went crawling into that student council girl. But here you waltz up. You got to help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Yes. No, wait, I don't need an answer yet. I'll just register the places where it seems there might be Titans in your map map for you. Oh, look at this phone case. Yo, for didn't you say we get a phone case or something? Oh, yeah, we do. We have saved data. Hmm. Okay, so we got five Titans. Titan layers. Path of Legends. Let's, let's let's do a bit, and we can get more into the details later. A lurkin, a lurkin. Oh shoot, hey, a ruse. Yeah. Oh man, should I really? Okay, okay. Uh, pretty good. You know, I'm just playing Pokemon. Um, yeah. Totally in. That is totally like uh, my webcam, not like a picture of me or anything. Oh hey, Aries. Oh hey, how's it going? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm like, oh yeah, this is, yeah, blah, 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 blah. anyways, in the meantime, take this, little gift for listening and all, not very far, I've been really busy, um, yeah, yeah, I only just started kinda a couple days ago, but I've been kinda busy and haven't gotten too far yet. Stardust. Yeah, and I, I, I didn't really feel like wearing my ball head all the time, but I guess I could for a little bit. I, somebody even followed like a little bit ago, so I guess I could do it since it's daytime. It looks fun. I'm kind of out of the loop with this game, though. Yeah, it, the thing is, there's, um, um, I'm not sure. There's like multiplayer now. I guess you can walk around. There's plenty of like graphical glitches though. And you'll hear that, I guess. I don't care. Oh, mechanical wise, mechanic wise? Yeah, your Pokemon can change types. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. Is the ball correct? Uh, yeah, like, um, yeah, your Pokemon can terrestrialize. So like, your, your say, Pikachu could turn into like a, a ground type or or grass type or whatever. Yeah, they can change to any of the types. It's interesting. I hacked your house smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. I'm sorry, who are you? And that's the big thing, I think, that I noticed. Cassiopeia. Never mind that, it's you I want to talk about. So I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me if all you knew about Team Star, right? Okay, yeah. Great, I appreciate you being up front, y'all. Yeah. Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. Because, oh! I guess this is like a school setting, so... Yeah, it's, this is a... I guess this is gonna be like a school-based game, where... Yeah. Because there's student councils stuff going on here. So it's interesting in that regard. And you can go anywhere, it's more open world, so. 
Yep, yep, yep. Okay, the cause, headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to the level. I refuse to stand, sit idly by, and let them get away with it. So, I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I don't even know this person. I call it Operation Starfall. I'll need allies to carry out this operation. I'd like you to be one of them. Okay, we just like came to the school and already we're like involved in some uh, some beef here between Team Star and this Cassiopeia person. Um, I mean, Team Star probably seems pretty sus. So I'll just I'll say yes, maybe. I don't need to reply this right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. Arvin just said that to us. Well then, I'll leave you to it. Bye. Oh, I missed the ball. Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? Of course, sir. You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information after all. Oh shoot! Did he overhear a conversation? Maybe he knows who Cassiopeia is. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. On you go then, young man. Alright. Okay, he's... Look at his shifty eyes. Team Star, you say? I don't know what he's up to. He's the director of the school. Hmm. Okay, so we end up in the library somehow. I feel like I can grow stronger if I sign up for battle studies. Now you can get a lot of battle tips with Mr. Times Class 2. I really like language class, but it doesn't really have too much to do with Pokemon though. Oh, I see that. Interested in any classes? Good morning, that's all. What class would you like to take? Ah, shoot, we actually have to learn stuff? <laughs> um, bougie school. Yeah, this is pretty fancy. Um, I don't know, I don't want to learn anything today. Maybe. Well, hmm. I don't want to take any classes right now. <laughs> oh, math, bio, or battle study. Yeah. Um, I could, uh, I think there's only one choice out of all that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just ended with that convo. Yeah, but I don't want to learn. Yeah. It's true, I don't want to learn. But, I mean, I might be interested in, like, Seeing what maybe like battle studies is. I like battle studies with Ms. Dendra. <laughs> Class will begin soon, don't be tardy. So I guess here. <laughs> Which one progresses the game? <laughs> Probs that one, yeah. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Say hello to battle instructor, the one the only, the hot-blooded Dendra. Osu is a karate thing, by the way, look it up. Is it really? Hmm, so I've, heard, I've heard Osu in the Japanese, I don't know what it means. Probably is a karate thing. Age 25, my hobby? Working out, I type, well, oh my gosh. Oh, Osu is a rhythm game? <laughs> Well, I guess she uh, she doesn't know what she's talking about. Strong and muscular fighting types, of course. Oh, lol. Yeah, she I can see that. She, she'd be a she'd be a bit um, attractive. Oh, uh, so for my introduction, that's from my class. This is where you get to learn the nitty gritty. Yeah, sure. Oh, I mean, uh, yeah. Official Twitch emote, by the way. Oh shoot, bro! When did you get? Uh, when did you get? Um, when did you get an emote? Nice. Yo, it's Omni too. Oh chonk. I need that emote. 
We'll start with the basics so that mirror trainer gets left in the dust. Even if you're new to this stuff. Have no fear. Leave it all to me and my muscles and you'll be frozen in no time. Let's set our fighting spirits ablaze together. Yeah, I still got like just the two basic ones. Wait a minute. What the? Where are people getting these Lechonk emotes? Is that actually like some Twitch default thing? No way. Oh my gosh, I got... For some reason I have like... Hmm... I just took a look now and I guess I got a lot of stuff. It's a global emote? What? Oh my gosh. I had no idea. That's awesome. Is it just Lechonk though? I'm just, I'm just seeing Lechonk. Um, 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 um. Ooh, yep. Lechonk is uh, pretty good. It's on my team. Oh shoot, right. Yeah, Twitch Boomer did not know that. <laughs> yeah. I had no idea. I hope this little chunk stays around for a while. I don't know how global emotes work if they psych oh, boomer unite. <laughs> Pokemon have all kinds of attack moves at their disposal. Each move has certain qualities that you'll want to remember. I'm talking about the power type and category of these moves. I know all this. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm a Pokemon veteran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's up, new kid. Question coming your way. There are two categories that attack moves can fall under. Know what they are? It's, uh, moves you love and moves you hate. Nah, it's physical moves and special moves. You're awesome. You're just as sharp as I expected. New kid. Looks like you have a handle on the basics. Anyway. Attack moves are split into two categories, physical and special. Physical moves do more damage higher than Pokemon's attack settings, and special moves do more damage higher than Pokemon's special attack settings. On the other side of things, Pokemon getting hit by these moves will take less damage by having these. So if I took like a bio lesson or a math lesson, are we actually going to learn math and bio? For it, did you take those lessons already? In conclusion, Pokemon that are good with physical moves should raise their attack stat. Pokemon that are good with special moves should raise their special attack stat. Yeah, yeah. Trying to raise both of these stats equally will just make it hard for the Pokemon to shine in battle. Make your strong points stronger, I would say. And that goes for both Pokemon and people. Man, I was just about to suggest we do some hands on practice and really drive the point home. I guess we're out of time. No! Oh, I was kinda. I was kinda. I'm um, interested in these battle studies. I generally meet for my class here in the schoolyard, even for book learning. Nothing like a little fresh air to make studying more fun, am I? Alright, but class is over now. Thank you, you little rascals. So yeah, that was battle studies. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Good morning, what class would you like to take? Oh, we could do Battle Studies too. But, I don't know. I kind of want to check out what happens if I take, like, a math class. Like, Miss Ma yeah, <laughs> you like math with Ms. Time. Class will begin soon, don't be tardy. Nice to meet you. My name's Time, and I'll be your math teacher. Sorry to put you all on the spot on the start of the class, but let me ask you a quick question. Do you enjoy numbers, arithmetic, and the like? No. <laughs> well, looks like we got mixed responses there. Am I? <laughs> Thank you for your honest responses. Some of you may like numbers, and some of you may not. I think that makes a wonderful mix. No matter your opinion about math, I hope you find yourselves enjoying a lesson together. Do my best to find a good way to match up your interests with all types of math lessons. 
Speaking of which, are you all caught up with, on your studies of Pokemon type matchups? For example, grass is strong against water, and water is strong against fire, correct? Well, you seem to be good with Pokemon, so let me ask you this. Bearing in mind that water is strong against fire, if the move Water Gun hits a fire type Pokemon, what becomes of the move's damage? It's doubled. Oh hey, this is pretty easy. Okay, so it's not like the typical math lesson. That's right, I knew if you, I could count on you for this question all. Using moves of the type that your opponent is weak to is a super effective tactic. It multiplies the damage of those moves by two. On the other hand, using moves, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we know this stuff. Odds of damage you lose by two. Aha, uh -huh. I don't mean encroach on this Dendro's Battle Studies territory, of course, but I thought it best to use a lively topic as an example. That can make math fun even for those of you who don't much like the subject of today. Okay, I like this kind of lesson. I wish I had those kinds of lessons where they actually applied math in a fun way. No, I just had to do a lot of problems. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next class. I hope you're looking forward to it too. And I wish lessons were mm, this length too. It's a nice life. <laughs> it's pretty short, so. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, so, uh. I wonder if I could take Battle Studies 2. I like Battle Studies with Ms. Dungeon. Okay. Um, that's a lot of classes we're taking already. I'm a uh, wandering library. Okay. More quiet moot books than I can read in a lifetime. Boy, am I glad I came to school. I swear, our culture. It's such a weird magazine, it's just full of utter nonsense. I mean, a culture? I mean, seems like it deals with cults. There's a book here about the Hermanisca. I know there is, but where could it be? I don't know if I'm... Oh, a staff room. Stem track? There's this girl named Penny in the stem track. She's smart and really good with machines. I she started coming to school again. Hey, we ran into her. Textbooks are great. Reading out loud from the textbook against your ears and mouth and all learning. Okay. Boom. Team Star. You heard of Team Star? They were a big problem around here, but that was a while ago. Whoa, is that a book that caught my eye? This book entitled Types and Moves 2. Do I want to read it? I guess. Oh yeah, the terror type stuff. Yup. Mm hmm. Oh my, look at these, uh, here's my Pokemon, I'm gonna use my store, blah 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 blah, a book, Appreciating Sinflora, that's a random Pokemon, in Aratazon, there's a town that's alive with flowers and artwork, there's a special and abiding love for the sun Pokemon of Sinflora, a sunny floral figure and bright smile and never fail to warm the heart. Denizens of Aratazon have long revered nature. Subject of much art, native in town, and a nurturing son. Sephora embodies qualities of both, this, which is why the town has a tradition of gathering and caring for these Pokemon. Okay. Um... Us. Oh yeah, oh look at these fletchlings. Yeah, the technical renderings could be better. Cleaning all this up is gonna be a pain. I mean there's only a couple papers and books. Yeah, this is a pretty fancy library. Oh, so it's that one we use. Oh, it's a pretty big library. Oh, culture! Hey, it's a September issue. What's this all about? Article catch your eye. Enigmas of Paldea. Iron treads are an alien weapon. Yeah. 
reports of a mysterious life form. It's said to resemble a dolphin at kind of first glance. Albeit, it's one that can abruptly assume a spherical shape and roll launch into a swift rolling attack. Rumors say this being is some kind of weapon using technology not of this world. But not one that one can say for sure. Apparently it's called Iron Treads, after the name of the strange being that was written about in the mysterious Bible book. Interesting. Another a culture issue. Uh, Iron Bundle, an ancient civilization's robot. Mysterious Violet Book makes reference to a being called Iron Bundle, which is said to look like Gillybird and to possess a spherical apparatus from which it would fire huge blasts of ice to propel itself through the snowy lands. So maybe another form of like Gillybird. I have theories about it have included. A leading one suggests it is the product of a long gone civilization. Notion supported by ancient writings that's described the design of uses of machines resembling iron bundle. More people. Don't think I've ever seen the scroll where the entrance is all to the library. Whoa, this is actually the entrance? So that's how it works. Interesting. So like immediately after you go into a school this school, you're greeted with this huge library. And like big shelves. Tall shelves. Find foods far away. The Chance of Kron, the Pewter Crunchies, the fabled signature dish of Canton Region's Pewter City. These snacks were good ground appearance, make them almost rock like in first glance. The Pewter Crunchies were inspired by the rock type Pokemon for which the Pewter Gym is renowned. Fortunately, they were forbiddingly tough appearance and surprisingly thin flavor. I kept them from a table of true popularity. Hmm. Alright, going for the STEM track, or maybe the Humanities track. If you're into Pokemon, the General Studies track might be good. Isn't it impressive? Everyone here's here to study. Wow. Studying. I haven't studied in a long time. I don't really miss it at all. Oh, Fido's. Types of moves one. Yeah, we know this stuff. Okay, let's see what the biology track is like. I mean, or biology class. I mean, that's our homeroom's teacher's, uh, Mrs. Jack. Just how many classes are we gonna be able to take? Are we gonna be able to keep taking them until, like, a certain point? Hello, hello. My name is Jacques, and I'll be your Pokemon biology teacher. In my class, we'll all learn about the various quirks of our beloved Pokemon together. I hope you all come to love Pokemon even more from the things you learn here. In today's class, I'll teach you a great way to get to know Pokemon in World Death. If you'd like to become better friends, you, know, you can let them come out of your Pokeball and walk along with you. Sounds great, huh? You can use the ZR button to throw a Pokeball and let out the Pokemon inside. Nothing cuter than watching your Pokemon run around on the foot if you ask me. Once you let out your Pokemon out, try speaking to them. They're sure to respond in some way. It's a great way to get them to know them better. However, letting your Pokemon out of its ball isn't such a great idea at some location. Can anyone tell me where it is that you shouldn't have your Pokemon walk along with you? Um. Dang. I mean, it's definitely not tall grass. I think it could be inside a building. Okay, that's great. All right, good, great job. Bob. Let's see you do your homework. Correct answer is that we should not walk with a Pokemon indoors. But there's Pokemon inside. I saw some fighters. Some Pokemon may damage walls, desks, and other things walking around inside buildings, so it's not allowed, regardless of the species. Therefore, please only 
Unless your Pokemon out of their Pokeballs. Well, in Outdoor, it's a good game for I think I see them out and about in the classroom from time to time, still. Anyway, you may become even closer friends with your Pokemon pals by walking together. Oh, I almost forgot. Keep in mind that you can only walk together with your elite Pokemon. Remember, using your TR button to throw a ball and let out the Pokemon inside. You also want to remember that throwing a ball at the wild Pokemon will start a battle. Looks like that's all the time we have for today. See you all next class. Okay. So we all took the um, first classes for each course. Okay. Do we take even more? You know, I kind of miss battle study. Miss Dendra. Class will begin. Okay, so yeah, you can continue battle study. Hmm. Another day, another round of battle study. Also, awesome. let's get right to it. Is everyone excited about the treasure hunt? It's always a great adventure. You get to take on gyms, go to new places, and run all over the place with your partner Pokemon. And while you're out running around out there, I bet you'll come across some big shiny crystals, fairly awesome as well. These crystals are actually collections of terrestrial energy that seeped up off out of the ground. You can check out these crystals to battle Terra Pokemon with your friends and other trainers in the Pukupa Pool. We call these battles Terra Raid Battles. The Terra Pokemon you fight off, face off against Terra Raid Battles can be are crazy tough. They sometimes act differently than regular Pokemon, so you'll need to be on your guard. Luckily, trainers can also use a special action in Terra Raid Battles. It's called cheering. And there are three different types, three different cheers from the use. The first cheer is Go All Out. It boosts the attack and special attack of all other Pokemon. The second is Hang Tough. This one boosts the special defense, defenses of all uh, allied Pokemon. And the third, well, let's see if you can guess. Hurry up, does it raise the speed? No, oh, no, it restores health for all allied Pokemon. What do you think it is? Um, heal up? Yo, yeah, the boring answer. That's right. Maybe I should make you the battle teacher, Nia, uh, you kid. The third and final cheer is Heal Up. It's a real powerhouse and with the ability to both restore HP and cure status condition. Power of Friendship. You can cheer up to three times during your single terror raid battle. Also, cheering uses up a turn in battle, so you won't be able to have any your Pokemon use any of their moves while you cheer. In conclusion, try everything at your disposal. Nothing seems to be working. Try cheering on your allies. Providing support for your team can sometimes open up a new realm of possibilities. Oh man, I was just a... <laughs> well, let's just suggest we do some hands-on practice to really drive the point home. I guess we're out of time. Maybe next time. Class is over for now. Take care, you little rascals. Hmm. Okay, so that was uh, second class of battle studies. Oh, okay, so we can only take two classes of each subject right now, probably. Alright, we'll take all classes that we can take right now so we don't have to do them later. That's what begins soon. Don't be tardy. Hello, hello. I hope everyone's ready to learn some new things today. You all try using the ZR button to let your Pokemon out as I taught you in the last class. Walking along with your Pokemon lets you see how unique and cute they all are. I'd also recommend picnics for when you want to spend some quality time together with the Pokemon in your party. You can get them all around the table to make sandwiches and play. It's really a lot of fun. If you want to learn more about making food, Mr. Saigaro's class is the best place to go. Now, sometimes, while you're enjoying a picnic with your Pokemon, you may find something very, very important in the basket next to your table. This very important something is what Pokemon are bored from. Let's all say it together. What? Um, 
eggs? Phew, y'all got it right. Yeah, I know a thing or two about Pokemon. Uh, it's not clear where these eggs come from, but they're probably placed in the basket rather stealthily by the Pokemon at the picnic. Well, what? Okay, so like, they make eggs and then they just put them in the basket? They don't even like, show them to the trainer? I don't know. That's a little weird. Okay. Walking around with an egg will help warm it, which allows it to hatch. Eggs won't warm up by sitting in boxes though. You'll need to have them in your party. Here's one more super important thing I'd like you to remember about eggs. Pokemon entrust us with the eggs because they believe in us. So, I sure would be happy to see you all being responsible parents for your little Pokemon eggs. Oh. Whoops, my most important point came right as the bell fell in. Well, see you all next time, I guess. Nice. Alright, the last class. I'd like to take the final math class with Ms. Time. <laughs> Hello everyone, let's have a fun class today. I mean, well, do you all enjoy shopping? Buying tasty bread or choosing new clothes? Even just window shopping is so much fun. In today's class, I'd like to use shopping, one of my own favorite hobbies, mind you, to teach you all about math. I'm sure everyone has, uh, has visited a Pokemon at least once. They sell all sorts of Pokemon items. Pokeballs are one of the many useful items you can find there. They cost 200 Poke Dollars each. Now then, I'd like to all do some thinking with me here. One Pokeball is 200... <laughs> We're actually doing math. Well, if you had 2,000 Poke Dollars... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And bought as many Pokeballs as you could afford. How many would you see? What? Okay, so I'm pretty sure... Okay, so you have po 2,000 Poke Dollars, and they're all 200 each. It's 10. Yeah. What? What? No! It was 20, right? No. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. I, I was always bad at math. So, 200 Poke Dollars. What is going on here? Oh, the Untarable. I suppose this was a bit of a trick question. With 2,000 Pokeballs, you can afford to purchase a maximum of 10 Pokeballs. However, if you purchase 10 or more of any one type of Pokeball, you also receive one premiere. Oh, the special white ball. I was, I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah, I knew about the premiere ball. It's, it's been happening for a while, but like, I didn't think that she would like do that to me. Okay, I'll, I'll, t I'll t I'm the ball guy, come on. <laughs> I should have said 11. I should have said 11. Oh. Yeah, she got me, she got me. Oh man, that was embarrassing. So the correct answer is in fact 11. So, okay. I guess 2000 divided by 200 is 11. Well, since it's in math class, in the Pokemon world. It sure is nice to get a little bonus like that on a shopping trip, isn't it? <laughs> oh my, is that the bell? I suppose that's all for now. What a shame. I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next class. I hope you're looking forward to it too. Alright. Alright. I'll think a little more carefully about the next math lesson. Hmm. There should be no more classes, though. We're all good on classes. I'm not gonna revisit any class. Not worth. Okay, uh, bu 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 bu. I think I have, uh, I think I've gotten around to everybody, so... I'm gonna go to the staff room, I guess. Uh, no, wait, the classroom was a, um, the faculty room. 
think people, students really go to the faculty room too often, so... Curious what's over there. Oh, shoot. Whoa, look at that hair. Looks like... That's really interesting. Well, uh, very well, Champion Demona. I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing, you can count on me. Uh, in fact, I bet this is gonna be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day, then. Oh, pardon me. I wonder who that was. Oh, Paul, hey. She looked awesome. Good eye, she sure is. That lady is, well, they call her La Primera. Okay. She's strong, she can do pretty much anything. She's got cool practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I want to be, or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. Oh, which reminds me, remember in the homeroom when I asked you what your dream is? Now I know you said you're all out about completing that Pokedex, but hear me out. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Yeah, I will. I I'm pretty sure I'll face off against you at some point. Oh, wow, hang on though. I got a whole spiel I want to give you. Here goes. Trainers who reach a champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're all they're pro tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of the seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title champion. So, and to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You've got to take on eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect the gym badges. Once you've done all that. All that's left is a special test, the champion assessment. And once you pass that, at long last, you'll be our champion. So we already know who the champion is. It's every Pokemon's trainer's dream. The coolest title anyone could ever hope to get. Not brag or anything. I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know. Oh, the treasure hunt is a special independent study thing we got here. It should happen soon. One last one. Our last one started not long after the beginning of the school year. Great, you should got to leave school to go out of an adventure and learn how you want every one. I guess you could say my journey to become champion was a treasure I found, maybe? I don't know yet if that's the answer I'm looking for. Um Man, she's so determined. Anyway, I've got a feeling that I'd be able to get it even stronger if you uh, and I were both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the gym's location in your map app in case you decide to go for it. I mean, we're gonna do everything. The Pokemon gym locations have been added to your map app. Give us some thoughts. Hmm. Okay. Typical Japanese school chime. Calling Master Ball to the director's office. Please. Oh shoot, we're in trouble. Once again, Master Ball to the director's office, please. And yep, never did like getting called like that. Hmm. So colorful. A lot of the teachers here are really colorful characters. I just need to try harder to stand out. Yeah, it looks pretty basic. What the? Uh, oh, is that Miss Time? You got me. I'm live. This is Ball. Hello there. Do you perhaps have a question about class? Yeah, I, yeah, I have a question. Why you gotta? Why you gotta trick me like that? What are you having trouble with? Let's have a little review here, shall we? Flying type Pokemon are weak to rock type moves. Rock type moves hits. Um, Flying type Pokemon when it comes to the moves damage, it's doubled. Yes, that's right. The correct answer is that the moves damage is doubled. Oh, is it? It's time. It's time. Mar, I see one of my more energetic students is here to see me. You'll have to wait your turn, dear. There's only one of me after all. Oh, uh, it's time. Is it true you are a gym leader? That is indeed true. I'm quite a strong battler, you know. Wow, that's cool. Why'd you quit? Do you want to know, do you? I might be persuaded to tell you if you wait your turn. Okay, I can wait my turn. I sure can. Now I want to know. 
I'm sorry for cutting our conversation short, Ball, but I seem to be in high demand today. Feel free to come see me anytime you have questions for me. Whoa! Don't tell me we can form confidants with our, like, teachers now. We became slightly closer with Ms. Time. Okay. Well, who's that? Rayforce. Taking time out of your day to attempt to, con to converse with me. You must be absolutely mad. Oh, okay. Where do you want to go? Um, the director's office. Okay, you can only go there. Oh man, look so serious. Thank you for coming, Mr. Ball. Have you been enjoying your time here at the Yuval Academy? Yeah, I guess. That is most wonderful to hear. You might be wondering why we could not have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria. What? Oh. Well, let me assure you, there's a reason why I've asked you to meet me here in my office. It seems a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. What? We're j we only just started school, and already so much is going on. Ah, oh, no, I'm afraid they're, they aren't actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. Okay, so video call. Oh, I see a fossil going. Oh shoot, it's the it's that professor. Hello, Bo. It is nice to meet you. My name is Professor Turo. I carry out Pokemon research within the Greek creator Chaldea, at a site known as Area Zero. Okay, that looks pretty, um, um, intense. The professor is, in fact, a graduate of Fine Academy, as well as a splendid researcher. Well, allow me to get this straight to the point. Ball, student ID number 805C393. You're the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Maridon, is that correct? Okay... First of all, only Arvin, like, uh... Arvin gave me that Pokemon. I guess you already know about it somehow. Maybe he's... 4K got your... Uh, student ID, I'm using it now. <laughs> okay. Thank you, I appreciate that you were honest in confirming the facts. Okay, yeah, hmm... Oh, not that I... I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. Assistance? There I go. Oh, uh, I just popped out of the Pokeball. Oh, how good to see that you are well. It has been quite a while since we last met. Okay. Maridon was once in my care, you see. And then it somehow became in Arvin's care. His Pokeball was originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man named Arvin. I am no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I would ask of you. Would you continue looking after Maridon on my behalf? Sure. I do appreciate your agreements. Maridon has been greatly weakened and is capable, or currently incapable of battle. Can however take it on a form of specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it would require some time to regain the capabilities it once had. I will provide you with my contact information. If you would please get out your phone. Okay. I'll be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Until then. Okay. Did this Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero? Tura, don't tell me you actually did it. Okay, this is like a standard anime trope. Uh, of 
course, some guy always goes too far and stuff. Hmm. Well, it seems the professor is acting quite the favor of you. The Forest Academy is always here to support you in any way we are able to. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life here together with that Marinon. We're gonna have the weirdest Pokemon here on campus. Area Zero. What are you doing down there, Professor? Okay, so... Ooh. Hello, excuse me. Oh, you're still here, boy. Oof, getting called into the director's office. How'd you land in that much trouble already? Not ah, getting in there, wasn't like that. Uh, Mr. Jock would, wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. Your own private room, all. Let's go check it out. Okay, so we got a dorm room. So we got a home and a dorm room. Oh shoot, it's pretty nice. Da -da 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 -da. Day on, this is your room, all. Actually, it's as new to me as it is you. Never been in here before. Maybe check out your new bed, it looks comfy. And you must be worn out after all this stuff happening on your very first day, huh? Quick rest on the bed is all you need to get yourself and Pokemon healthy again. See you tomorrow when you rest it up. Then we can battle even more, take care. Cool, so now we got a dorm room. Mm. Yeah. It's a study desk, it's got plenty of handy space to put things to the side too. Uh, I don't want to call it a day, do I? It's your personal kitchen, my closet, the way to the restroom. Alright, I guess we've got to go to sleep. Uh, yeah. Yeah, hmm. Oh, shoot. Days quickly fly by after you start your new life at Uva Academy. And then, at last, the day begin, arrives for your true adventure to begin. Attention all students, today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Please assemble in the schoolyard, where I will be explain in more detail. Oh shoot. It's time! I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go out to the schoolyard. Okay. Gotta get to the schoolyard. Director's orders. Okay, I guess we gotta go to the schoolyard. Excellent. It seems everyone is here. But it's time I explain your independent study assignments. Oh, it looks so like it looks glowing. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. Oh! You have le all learned much within the walls of our fine academy. But now it is time to turn your eyes upon a wider world and deepen your understanding. This is a school. Oh my gosh, explore Pavia's abundant nature, soak in its rich culture. Let's discover the Pokemon that live here. And get to know the people too. This is the kind of school I'd be interested in. I can get behind this. Where will you travel? Who you meet? What will you achieve? Of course, your Pokemon partners will be there with you. You will journey together, learn new things, and share each other's thoughts and feelings. Find something you might always treasure. Don't tell me it's friendship. Look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study. And you return to us as fine young trainers. Okay, let the treasure hunt begin. Onward.
Hmm. I wonder how school life is gonna progress. This is an interesting um, setting. And it's raining. Oh, she does like Lazar. Tomaya. It's time for the great outdoors. Come on. It's like Lazar, but we're running it. Take care, everyone. Remember, the great crater of Chaldea is exceedingly dangerous. Entering it is a violation of school rules. Okay. What are you waiting for, Ball? Let's go. Uh, we're just gonna roll up with our Pokemon bike. I think. I think everybody heard my warning. Like a student is so full of vim and vigor, I find it hard not to worry. Hmm. I didn't hear anything. Trade drone, yeah, I've been waiting for this. I'm gonna take the best photos ever with the new camera I spent all my pocket money on. You can do anything? When you're told you can do anything at all, it sort of makes it harder to know where to start. You know what I'm searching for? To me, treasure hunting is fetching Pokemon. I'm gonna build my deck Pokedex for sure. Where should I go? Where should I go? I wish someone else would just decide for me. Oh shoot, rock run. They're rock types, but it's raining. So finally on the quest. All sorts. Okay, so how do I? Oh shoot. Hold on. Treasure hunt. It's finally starting. What do you mean that treasure? Yeah, fair question. Since it's the first time. Come on, let's walk inside. This is supposed to be raining. Treasure hunt is a huge part of the Yuva Academy school year. The point isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure, though. We're more than just making our own adventures to see what experiences Paladia has got to offer. You could try to beat Pokemon gems. You could help out Pokemon in need. If people in need, you could hunt for a real capital T treasure if you want to. The stuff we never learn sitting in a classroom, you know? But this is our chance to learn. It's so weird. It's raining. I mean, yeah. Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. You and me for sure got a battle if we run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. Yes. Oh, wait. Are we battling right now? Oh, yeah. Battling can wait. I meant to tell you. Did you know your phone map? Can lets you set yourself destinations. Just try setting one of the gyms as your destination. That'll get you on your way easy. How's that for a student council president? Giving your own friends an insider advantage. Oh shoot, Arvin. Hey, uh, Arvin. See a rival? I feel like it could be a rival. Insider advantage? Sheesh, you make it sound like we're shooting or something. All I did was suggest you check out the gyms. It's up the ball wherever you go. Ball's gonna have his hands full, searching out Titan Pokemon with me. Oh, Squish is online. He doesn't have time to waste on, on something like chasing after the champion rank. We can do it all. Me and him are gonna be too busy visiting players and Titans and nabbing the Herb of Mystica. Yes, sir, and sorry. Don't go filling his head with weird stories. Hey, all I did was invite him along. He's still up to ball where he goes, right? Grr. While your phone's ringing. Hey, Ball, Cassiopeia here. It's about Operation Starfall. Remember what I told you before? Oh my gosh, we got a lot of things to do. Team Star is made up of five individual squads, and each one's got their own base. I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss there. Team Star's grunts might try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out from a distance. It adds up that the bosses each specialize in a different Pokemon type. Just remember, names of all the crews and they'll no figure out. And still, no need to worry. With your skills, I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I'll just go ahead and ask the base these locations to your phone for you. Okay, looks like uh, we've got the fighting crew, the poison crew, the fire crew, the dark crew, and the fairy crew. Huh. 
Interesting. Interesting. Look at those bosses. I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you meet one. Wait one second, who are you supposed to be? And Team Star. Those punks are a real serious hazard. They're not balls problem at all. That's right, because he's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. I thought it was up to Vol whether he decide whether he goes or not. Wasn't that what you said? Nimona? Or Arvin? Oh my gosh, he's been listening. In. On um, our conversations, he sus. How do you know my? I'm looking forward to seeing what you can pull off. All bye. All right. And what was that all about? Oh, I'm glad to see you're making plenty of friends here, but try not to get dragged into anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird vibes. We got a big adventure to start. We're gonna battle every single Pokemon trainer I meet. If I just keep trying to become the strongest, I bet that experience will be all I treasure. I guess I'll start by heading to a gym and training up some new Pokemon. Here, I'll send you a pic with, of what the gym's buildings look like. Cool. Oh, and I know we've been running out of miles, but it's your call what you do, Ball. Go where you want, and do what it is you really want to do the most. A treasure of our very own. For me, that's gotta be my... Nerd, my... Big dream. Of tracking down the herb and mist together. Once we get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've had in your life. Oh, right on. Right, what did you come out for? Oh well, gosh, did you come out because you just said sandwich? <laughs> it did, we didn't give it a sandwich. You're not getting one. It seems it wants to start moving. Is it telling you to get on one? Oh yeah. Whoa, we can have it leap. Oh yeah, let's do it. Yo, tricked out Pokebike right here. Whoa, Transform, that really looks like some kind of weird Cyclozar. As long as you got them right on, you can go pretty much anywhere. Paldea's your cloister. Yeah, maybe. Well, if you're gonna go search for those Titan Pokemon, I'd say set up from the East Gates. Since Ball is actually heading to take on some gyms, I'd say go to the West Gates. Besides, it's way too easy to get lost out east. Man, this is why I can't get along with you. I'm out of here. Catch up soon, little buddy. I'll head to a gym. See you around, Ball. Can we do both? No, three. No, we got. We can do all three. Um, this special event. Blah 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 blah. blah. I'm pretty sure we can do all three. So, okay. Hmm. Yo, history class is ready to take a home ec class. Check it out. Yeah, we can just ride around on our wheels. Le leave a little glowy trail. Jump to. It's pretty sick. And then we got the Hype wheel. Alright. Um, yeah, it's, uh, hmm, I might just, uh, stop here for now. I think a lot's happened. We take a bunch of classes. And, like, um, uh, I mean, they're doing renovations on the apartment next to me, so it's kind of annoying. So I might just, uh, take a little break, go eat something and uh, do some other things. So, I will see y'all later. And, uh, I'll, I'll definitely be on later. See ya.